We have over 300 horse in this engine, and we can only go 80 miles an hour. Are you serious? What were you thinking, devs? Okay, maybe 82 miles an hour. Oh, shit. Okay, let's just pretend that never happened. Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to build the limb chip engine. The most powerful engine in the game. Fit it, figure out what else we're going to need along with it. And then we're going to go do the Anomaly Barricade. Um, the, the devs just came out with an, uh, a patch today. Today is March 19th. And um, the roads will take you home, Henry. The roads will take you home. Listen to me. You know how this place mixes everything up. You see how it doesn't mix up the roads? That's the key. Forget about where the buildings, the trees, or the landmarks are. Stick to the roads. Right. Okay, anyway. <laughs> um... Yeah, so they came out with a patch. I, I read through the patch notes and didn't really see anything that I noticed. Um, one problem that I do, I don't know, and I don't even know if I mentioned this to you guys, but um, I have a problem starting this game with DirectX 12. Um, what it does is it gives me an out of video memory error message, and sometimes it blue screens my entire system. Um, and I didn't realize it was DirectX 12 at first, so I, you know, I had to do a little bit of research and. I finally um, realized that that was the culprit. So when I start with DX11, it it starts fine. Um, you know, I mean, I can't really tell the difference. There probably is some differences, but anyway, um, they didn't mention anything at all about fixing that issue, though. So you know, it's kind of frustrating, but whatever. And uh, otherwise, yeah, they they fixed a few other things, changed a couple things, um, and you know, one thing now that I think about it, there's another kind of weird. I don't really know if this is a bug though, but sometimes if you hold E down, it opens the door, but it doesn't let you out. Maybe that's by design. Maybe it's if you want to open your door without getting out of the car, but I'm not sure why you would do that. I, I mean, I, there's reasons for doing that in real life, but I'm not sure why you, do, you would do that in the game. But yeah, I guess that's not really, uh, that's not a, a, a bug. That's just by design so you have to tap e to get out so okay well anyway um so yeah i uh i spent a little more time in that valley actually a lot of more time in that valley after i left you guys in the last episode and i picked up a decent amount uh you know of more of olympium i don't know i probably found another two or three deposits of it but i was having the hell of a time trying to find more explosives and i was just i had pretty much scoured the whole zone and i was just about ready to open the gateway to get out and I found another um, Arda Investigator, or maybe it was a, a moving, uh, you know, a box truck. One of those two. I opened it up and I found, and I finally found the explosives that I needed. Uh, you know, because we need that, of course, to make the engine. So, in total, I'm currently sitting on uh, one, two, three, four, almost 100. So, 98 Olympian, which is pretty damn good. I also made a few more magnets whilst I was there as well. Um, yeah, and then we, we have already made the four limb chips that we need for the engine. We had done that prior. So, let's go ahead and get started with, uh, doing that. We're going to go into here, and we're going to make ourselves a limb chip engine. This sucker has 304 horsepower and 600 health, so it's 100 more health than the amp engine, and, um, almost 100 more. <laughs> horsepower too. This thing's gonna be a beast. It is it does have pretty shitty gas mileage, but you know, that's that's to be expected. Uh so we are we are, are gonna need to take that into account. Alright, here we go. This is it, man. This is it. The limb chip engine. It looks uh it looks very similar to the other to the turbo light engine. Didn't the turbo light engine also have like green lights and stuff? I don't know. All right, so I don't really. I can't think of why I want to. I would want to keep this engine, but I'm going to anyway, just in case. Just in case. 
<laughs> I know I could grind it down and get a shit ton of resources, but I think we're going to hang on to it um, for now. Okay, so this is a gasoline engine, so we're going to have to change things up. What I was thinking about doing, because I'm planning on um, putting, in fact, actually, hold on, now that I think about it, let's see if we can now learn these final two roof modules that I want. Um, so this is the chrono dilator. It seems uh, it seems localized time dilation is possible, albeit with within a contained space and demanding substantial energy. This device should reduce the apparent passage of time. It may also cause confusion, nausea, and flatulence. Um, haha, yeah. Reduce the passage of time. So I guess we would use it if we want to pass nighttime and get back into daytime hmm that's not what I thought it would do I thought this was going to be more of a slow time down without slowing us down kind of thing it uses 1.25 kilowatts per second I don't know um this though which uses even more power is if I understand it right correctly, it'll basically if we get launched up into the air, we can turn it on and it and, and we have a gentle landing and we don't you know take damage when we fall. This could be useful to use in conjunction with the jump jack. Um, but yeah, you can see this sucker uses some serious power. So I'm not if that's what that actually means that it just lets us pass nighttime or, or I mean past time in general more quickly I can't say that I'm a fan of that especially if that affects the instability storm timer it probably doesn't because why would you use it otherwise but hmm, I'm gonna hold off on that I'm, I have to think about that some more but I, I'm, I'm certain that I want this thing okay so let's make it well when I say let's make it let's make the blueprint for it okay so we need two limb chips. All right here's the here's another thing that I need to think about. Um, I really would like to make Olympium um, panels for our car. We have Olympium doors, but we don't have Olympium panels. Yeah, we're gonna need five of them. So maybe we should do that first. Um, you know, with the Olympium that we have. Yeah. See, we're gonna be able to make. It's going to use 50 of 58, and that won't give us enough then to make two limb chips to make that other thing. But I think the panels are more important at this point. So, yeah, let's make five of these. All right, and then we will replace our armored panels. Okay, we need to get our green paint out. Hopefully I have enough of that. I think we will. And we also need the Arda sticker. Oh wow, that's different than the, the armored panel. How interesting. I figured it would be the same design. Okay, there we go. Put this back in here. Now, um, the next thing to do is to figure out our arrangement. So, what I was thinking is we keep these are both high capacity batteries. Um, course if we, hmm, yeah I, I hmm, it's hard to decide <laughs> okay let's leave those where they are for the moment we don't need the turbines and these are pretty cheap to make I'm running out of space in my parts locker so I'm just gonna grind them down a 
We'll start with the easy thing to figure out. And I'm going to put two fuel distilleries on the side racks because um, those things are actually quite OP. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. So that way we can, you know, regenerate our own fuel. Um, we definitely don't need this, but I am definitely going to keep it because it was expensive to make. And see, yeah, that's the last... That's it. All of our parts lockers are completely full. You know, there's a few things in here I could probably... I'm sure I could take out. Um, here is... Well, that's a fuel tank. I want the dis, the fuel distillery thingamadoodle. I don't remember where I, what I did with it. Or you know what I might have done. That's a back seat tank. Here we go. Fuel synthesizer. I was going to say, I wonder if I scrapped it because it was damaged. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's put you there. I want to make two of those. So that is going to be fuel. Oh, I guess we had to make the circuit board first. I do that all the time. There we go. And we'll put you on that side. Okay, so that will allow us to make our own fuel. Um, I think I think I want to keep this if we're if we're not ready for those really big roof top items, which we're not. So what would we put up here? We could put the radiation protection thing and doodle back up there. We could put more storage back up there. Um. The, radi uh, the radiation thing's going to use... Oh, actually, can we make... There's a rooftop fuel tank that you can put up there. Can we learn that? That's this. So, expanded back seat tank. And... There we go. Now, I don't know if we can make it. We learned it, but we'll see if we can actually make it. Because, you know, with as much gas as this thing's going to guzzle, right? Um, gas reservoir. Yeah, looks like we can make it. <laughs> A 55-gallon drum on top of the car. I love it. That's awesome. Okay. Um, <coughs> so that's going to give us a shit ton of fuel. And the ability to, you know, to make make more fuel as needed. So that being the case, what should we put on these other two side racks? I mean, I guess... If we're going to leave those guys in there, which we are for, for now... Hmm... We could either put more side fuel tanks, or we could put storage. I could put the turbines back on, even though I just grounded them up, to help keep these things charged up. I'm not a huge fan of the of the side floodlights. Oh, you know what? That's another thing they didn't fix. or, or Well, they didn't mention, and I think I just saw the car do it, how it kind of sinks into the ground a little bit and then pops back up. I didn't see them mention that. That doesn't mean they didn't, but I didn't see it. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think with this ginormous thing up there and the normal fuel tank and the fact that we can... Yeah, I mean, look at this thing. It's already made like a third of the tank all on its own. We probably have enough fuel. Side storage is always useful. There's no doubt about that. And I was, you know, I was running out of storage space towards the end there. Yeah, why don't we just use side storage? I mean, you can't go wrong with that, right? Let's just put our side storage back on there. Now, if it turns out that even with this honking thing on the roof, we still seem to be running out of fuel quickly... You know, then we could put side fuel tanks on here instead. It 
you know, on the next run. Okay, now, the other thing we have to do is we don't need two of these now. Uh, we'll keep one. And the other one, I'm just going to store uh, probably out here, actually. Hopefully I'll remember that that's there. And, oh, we and what we need to do is pull... I don't, we don't, I don't think we need two fuel tanks. We could just continue using the same one to siphon out of both of the synthesizers to fill everything back up. Um, and that'll save us, you know, that'll save us a little bit of room. Because these things take up a decent amount of space. Um, wait a second. Oh, I already, I guess I had two fuel synthesizers. Son of a beech nut. I didn't realize that. I thought that was a fuel tank. What did I do with my fuel tanks? Oh, no, wait a minute. Did I make... I must have made two of those. <laughs> I'm such a noob. Okay, well, you know what? Let's... Yeah, let's, let's just save that because, you know, one of these will eventually... Well, they're both eventually get fragile or have some permanent status effect, and then we can just replace it. So it wasn't a waste. It was just kind of... You know, unintended, I suppose. All right, so this we're going to have to manually repair. Um, we'll just give it a very quick squirt. I guess that was not very quick, but we got the job done. All right, so we have an extra fuel tank, which we can siphon out of these. So we don't—I don't think we need more fuel. Plus, we still have this little guy too, which, by the way, needs to be filled up. And we need to refill everything. Yeah, so this rooftop fuel tank is basically, um, you know, the the full the whole when we added to that, it added seventy five percent more basically to the main tank. So that's pretty good. All right, man, look at that. Our car is fully upgraded to Olympian panels. We got reinforced headlights. We got uh, our new fuel tank, and most important of all, <laughs> we got the limb chip engine. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, is there anything else we want to do before we take off? Um, I should probably clean up my mess there. What's that? Oh. Oh, that's the th the thing that records number of days. Okay. Um what can actually uh, wh What does that cost? Oh, that only takes stable energy. An incident board kit. Looks like it goes up here. Twenty-five runs without an incident. All right, very nice. Those tight, yeah. Those tires are currently being repaired from the when I came back from the last run, which the car was in actually really good shape too. Um, I don't know if I found that found this on camera or after I had left you guys in the last episode but the, I found a repair and recharge station in that zone I was in too so it completely fixed the car all the way back up it was really nice well, we got a circuit board out of the deal we'll put that in here and then some basic stuff the other thing we could look at well, let's take one more last look at this um, I'm, I'm not really, I don't really give a shit about that stuff. That's just like a vending machine for decorations and all that shit. Uh, we got all the hand tools learned. Don't care about the bio headlight or the bio, f uh, flare gun. Um, we could do an Olympium bumper, but I don't know. I, I, I just like the limb shield and the limb pulse. I just don't think I want to give up those two bumpers for the car. 
Um, these I'm still not sure about if they're actually worth getting. So, the, you know, the jury's kind of still out on that, I suppose. This, okay, what does this do? It means that a tank doesn't spill a drop. But, oh, it would have to go on a seat rack. Oh, right. Okay, that's probably like that sealed battery that we saw. I don't, I don't think we need that. We've got everything there. Um, this we're, we're holding off on. This we can't make yet. Magnetic bumper. Eh, I mean, not entirely useless, but I, I, we've just about learned everything we need to learn there. Let's look in here. Insulated jumpsuit. Uh, oh, I, mean, I guess I'm already wearing that. It says we have a note about it, though. So, yeah, we have 45% electrical resist. Hmm. Why is it yellow, though? Is it just because I haven't read the note? Probably. I'll bet you that's what it means. All right, so we still have the... We have radiation suit 3. Radiation resist 40 plus blocks radiation below 2.5. We were looking at that earlier, but we decided to go with the explosion resistance. These block piercing, but I mean, piercing is just not something I've really encountered on my own personal physical being. I mean, what pierces besides the spike traps? And it's not like I'm jumping in them. Yeah, so I don't know about that stuff. Uh, what does this do? Acid resist would be good. Uh, both of those would be good, and anti-theft backpack would be good. We would need some more swamp coral for that. So we'll keep an eye on, you know, those things too, and continue upgrading our ourself, you know, as, as time goes on. All right, guys, I think we're ready to set out, and I think we're going to go ahead and actually do the mission this time. And then we'll just see where we are. Um, so we basically need to go back up to here. And our route to get there. Okay, that's a smokestacks. That's a red spires. Um, concussive blast and meteorite medley. It has no time at all on the instability storm. So what about this red spires? This has no time at all on the instability storm either, but it has a decent amount of a uh, little more, you know, power. Though we don't really need that the power much anymore. We got probably have all all the rest we're going to need for the rest of this playthrough, at least in terms of um, you know, upgrades in the fabricator. So our fastest route, yeah, that's smokestacks, light ambient radiation. Okay, so I think we'll just take the highway up to here. Belligerent bubblegum. I hate those things, man. Oh, fuel evaporation. Oh, that sucks. But you know what? If we just scoot through this zone as quickly as possible, um, our dis you know our fuel distillers will will take care of us. So I'm not too worried about the fuel evaporation. I think we go there. We pass through here. Uh, we're not going to really have much time to dilly dally there to get back up to here. And this is a, an actual very very gentle zone, at least as far as the deep zone itself is concerned. So that is the plan. All right, let's do this. And you know what else, guys? I think I'm going to. Um. Wait a second. Hold on. Oh, never mind. I I didn't actually need to do that, but that's okay. Um. I think I'm going to probably do most of the trip up there off camera unless something real significant happens. Uh, I'll keep you with me at the beginning just so we can see how fast the engine is, though. Do I have all of our supplies and stuff? We have three electricians, three mechanicals, five sealants. Uh, we have three, uh, our two full stacks of health kits. We had extra tire. Uh, we got a spare hammer, spare plasma, spare vacuum, and some torches. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good to go. Here we go. Let's start this thing up. It's not very loud. <laughs> Hmm. 
it uh, doesn't quite have the acceleration I was expecting, but it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> All right, let's just let's take it for a spin down the highway and see what happens. Yeah, man, they they need to make this the sound on this engine way louder than it is. I mean, come on, we need to hear some stock car engine noising noises there. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Like that. Um, there we go. I'll take that, that, what's this? A slice of pep? Okay. Um, I don't think we need any of the rest of that. Let's go. We have more storage too, because now we have our side storages. Oh, don't leave the uh, nine miles per gallon engine running, OG. It's expensive, man. Lovely. You know what, though? I gotta say... I'm not noticing a significant difference between this engine and the amp engine. I'm really disappointed that they don't have the sound ramped up a little bit more. I mean, you know, they'll make it ridiculously loud, but um, we should hear a little bit more than that, if you ask me. The acceleration and even the top end speed doesn't seem to be significantly better than the amp engine from what I can tell. You know, and considering that it has almost a hundred more horse, you would expect a little bit more than that, I would think. Hmm. I don't know. This has anchor ob obfuscation. Okay, so we're going to have to go cross country. Um, in fact, I think what I'm going to do is just mark where the road is. Um, and then we'll go. Oh. Repair and charge. Beautiful. We'll take it. Hopefully that left and right stays over there. That was handy to have this nearby. Let's see what's in here. Um, I don't want that scrapper. And I don't want the blue paint. I'll take that stuff. Let's uh let's fill up our this first. I might before we actually start the mission, the race, when we get back to that zone. I might actually spend a little bit more time see if I can farm up that valley up a little more. That was just so profitable. Particularly, you know, since I was able to do it without the zone trying to kill me, you know. Uh, Alright, so we got to get around... Go through here. Stay away from the left and right. It'll run us right into those damn things. Easy there. Here, let's put our... Oh, shit. I, I, wish, I wish if you put the same damn thing in the same slot, it would just keep the assignment. Uh, but it doesn't, and it's a little irritating, I have to say. Limb pulse emitter. Okay. I mean, I can understand having to reassign it if it's something different, but if it's the same thing, you know, what the hell? Okay, let's go. Since we have a fuel truck, and because now we got to do fuel again, we might as well take this opportunity to top off the vehicle. 
just don't want to run into that guy. Okay. I can't. Can't get through. There we go. Oh, shh. Uh, no, it's on the side, right? Yeah. Free gas, baby. Who can pass that up? If I see one of those anchors, I'll grab it. Um, but I'm not going to go out of my way to try and find it with our scanner. Alright, let's stay... Hey, cut that out. bunnies there. Let's see if we can avoid them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you missed suckers. Oh, there's another one. Uh, uh, uh. You missed too. You guys suck. Y'all suck. All of ya. Damn bunnies. It's no ordinary rabbit either. I see an anchor. Let's go grab it since it's right there for the taking. Oh, another one. Stay away from left and right. I mean, I can tell that this. Uh, whoops, uh, that this engine is more powerful. It's just not that much more powerful. I was expecting a little more from it. But what can you do? That gave us 1.1 K-Lim. Shit. We have no electrical protection on this vehicle. It's alright though. Okay, and we're out. Okay, this is the this next zone is the one that has the fuel evaporation. So uh, and it's got aggressive bubble guns. So let's just get through it as quickly as possible. Yeah, this should have more acceleration, man. We have over 300 horse in this engine and we can only go 80 miles an hour. Are you serious? What were you thinking, devs? Okay, maybe 82 miles an hour. Oh shit. Well, I got the limb shield on first, so at least we're not taking a hell of a lot of damage there. A little bit. Okay, let's just pretend that never happened. The subductor's probably going to try and chase us. Uh, nope, we got past him. Nice. What about this one? Oh yeah, he's on us. See, we should be able to outrun those bastards with this engine. Oh, did I go the wrong place? I got completely turned around. <laughs> oh my god, can't take me anywhere, man, I'm telling you. 
For Pete's sake. Well, I didn't know. I got flipped completely upside down and spun around and turned around and shooken up and shaken up. Not my fault. All right, this is the battery, or the fuel sucking, battery sucking or fuel sucking, I don't know. One of those things sucking suck zone. So we got to get on through it quick. I'm only going to stop for power if it's like right by the road. All right, so we are, where are we at? Yeah. You know what? Uh, fuel evaporation. That is a pretty big thingy. You know, we have our distilleries. Let's let's at least go after that one. Okay. I'd like to actually get some some more coral too, but I think that, that'll probably be an off-camera run. Easily. Go easy. Okay, we are going to stop for the investigator. Alright. Decent stuff. We might as well make the circuit and grab the other two also because they're pretty close to the road. Oh uh, yeah, I see it over there. This isn't... Okay, I was going to say, this isn't acid water, is it? What I could do... Grab a few of these since they're right here. Uh, was there more up there? Yeah. Okay, that's good enough. Yep, here comes the here comes the storm. Yeah. Stay away from the bubble gun. Uh, I think we can beat out this storm. Even if it, you know, the yellow part of it catches us a little bit, it's not a big deal. Let's go. Oh my god, what happened to the road? Uh, I guess I'm on it. We have no corrosion protection. <laughs> I want to drive in that shit. This anchor is going to be really close to the road, so that's good. There it is, right there. I'm going to leave the car running this time so we can get going. I hear bubble gums. Oh, 
Okay, so... Uh, we might... Yeah, we might try and grab that last... Well, you know what, though? We have 4.3. That's enough to jump out. Let's just go. I don't want the car to get the ship beat out of it before we get to our destination. Not good driving through that shit. That was like a little miniature bubble gum. Like little baby bubble gums. Ah! It's very hard to see right now. Um here. Stop it. I wanna put that down there so we know where the hell we're going. Good lord, look at all the tourists. Oh, I'm over the fucking place. Ah! You know, that hurt. It's a rough ride. All right, at least we got out of the muckety muck. Well, for a second. <laughs> Does that guy look like a frog or what? Oh, I shouldn't have ran into him. That wasn't smart. Kind of looks like a frog, doesn't he? Um, yeah, no. Let's not get greedy. We don't need that other. Anchor. We just don't need it. Let's go. Wow, we took a quite a beating going through there. We need to, to do a little bit of repairing here. I know I have one window that's cracked, at least. Uh, which one is it? Oh, the windshield. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't appear like we have any more status effects. We just have some damage. Uh, so let's grab our torch here. Our limb shield got the tar beat out of it. Okay, we'll hit the hood. Looks like these panels need some attention. Uh, oh, that storm caught up to us. Shit. Okay. I had my health here. Let's check the lights. I think we can actually make a, a normal torch in our tier two workbench now. I think we can. That doesn't mean we have all the stuff to do it though. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, okay. That was a little rougher than I was expecting, but you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, this is going to have light, ambient radiation, concussive blasts, and swift storms. It's got a decent amount of power, but here again, I'm only going to go after it if it's really close to our path. Um, we will stop, though, for explosives and for Olympiums, uh, Olympium veins. Let's do it. If, again, they're... they're pretty close to our path. We're not going to go wandering around in this zone. We're not going to have enough time to do that anyways. The storm's going to start almost immediately. Okay, so that's where we need to go. This, okay, so this, this one in especially is really close. 
Those ones are little, so I think... Eh. Well, maybe we'll grab them. I mean, let's just see what happens. Do a quick scan to see if any Olympium shows up. Yep, there's some right over there. Alright, we are going to go after that. And there's the first uh, anchor, too. And stay away from the left and rights. Oh, I just realized something, too. We're getting kind of low on fuel, so let's... Let's deal with that first. Uh, fuel tank, where are you? Right here. And I'm going to actually need to go into the settings and turn... Uh, no, sorry, gameplay. Turn off this, because then otherwise it doesn't let us siphon our gas. It thinks we want to change it out. So, I mean, that was fairly extensive fuel usage, uh, making me wonder if we might want to put some more, you know, fuel tanks on this vehicle. It wasn't terrible, but it was it wasn't great either. Yeah, we can get almost two. Get the fuck off there, dude. How come I can't get him off there? Oh, is it because I have this in my hand? Jesus. Usually you can pick those guys up and throw them off. I don't know why that wasn't working. Let's get it completely topped off. I need to heal myself, too. And then hopefully by the next time we need to refill, these both of these distill distillers will be completely full again. Yep, there comes the storm. Alright, that's good enough. Let's just uh, get the hell out of here. Put that back in there. Close this. Alright. Uh, here we go. Everything. All right, let's go. Time's a wasting. Okay, we're gonna go. Uh, oh, yeah. Might as well grab this, right? Uh, where to go? Here it is. We have something wrong with our fuel distiller on the left left side. I wonder if it's uh. Oh, uh, leaking. I'll bet you it is. Oh, shit. Don't go there. When we stop to grab this other anchor, I'll check it and see if we can fix it. No, 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 no. Get off, Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Such a pain in the ass. That's why we keep the limb pulse emitter. <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay. All right. What is wrong with? Oh, it's you. Right with you. Full of holes. We need a ceiling kit. I'm going to assume, I could be wrong about this, but I'm going to assume that means we could potentially lose stuff that we might put in there. And when we do get back to the base, we're going to trash it uh, or recycle it because it's uh, now has the worn status effect. Realize my limb shield was on. Let's go. Get myself a health kit while we're traveling here. Go 
this way. And we're out. Whew. Okay. We should have a little bit of breathing space in this zone. Alright, let's see if there's a repair station here. Uh, yeah, I think there's one right there if I'm looking at that correctly. I think that's a repair and a recharge station. This is the time to go fast. Isn't this what you've been waiting for? Yes, ma'am. Alright, here's what's going to happen, guys. I'm going to cut the camera. Um, I'm going to go down into this into this valley and gather up as much Olympium explosives, those two things in particular. We might grab some more, a few magnets and stuff like that too. Then I'm going to run over to this repair station and repair up and then we'll go over here and actually start the mission. So, um, if some, I'll, I'll keep my uh, I'll keep the recorder running in case something crazy happens between now and then, but if not I'll see you guys when we're ready to start the race. All right, guys, we are at the repair station. Is it a repair and recharge? It uh, is just a repair. Okay. Well, we'll take that, too. Um, the game was not uh, willing to let me loot uh, that valley in peace. There were blacksmiths all over the place. Um, and they, uh, they weren't very nice to me. Uh, but we did manage to get a total of 59, um, uh, 59 Olympium. So still not too bad. And there's, there, there might be a few more down there too that we could have gotten, but I didn't want to risk it for the biscuit. Speaking of blacksmith, we have another one real close by too. All right, I'm going to grab this, since we know this is not a a recharge station. It's just a repair station. And let's get our battery topped off. Okay. All right, also... Let's also get the car topped off, too. Grab our Olympium torch. We need a little TLC. And what else? This rear panel. Might as well just top everything off. No reason not to. We got another torch. Okay, this limb pulse is unreliable, so we're gonna have to retire it when we get back to the base. Those are all doing pretty good. Using a blowtorch on a fuel tank, that doesn't make me nervous. You're good. You're good. Yeah, we gotta retire you also. Okay. We're ready to go. Um, so we need to go back to we need to go into here. So we're basically just gonna turn around and head the other way, which is great because I don't want to go near that blacksmith anyways.
Oh, fuck. That was dumb. Thought I was clear of it, but I wasn't. I think those are reinforced headlights. I must have hit a left and right. Didn't even see it. Let's stop for the investigator. And because I'm a numbskull. Uh, I mean, it didn't take that much damage, but still, right? We don't want it to take any damage if we don't need to. What do we got in here? Steel panel. A little extra putty. Is there anything else that needs to be topped off after that? A little clip of the guardrail? How did the whole damn car get damaged on the side? I must have scraped it. Limb shield is just tiny, tiny bit of damage. Alright, that's good. Free putty. We'll take it. There's a problem with that battery realized. Ceiling kit. I don't want that thing leaking in the back seat. We are going to have to um, mind our tires because they, they don't have complete grip, but then on the other hand, you know, we can use them for some drifting too. It's just kind of difficult to do that with digital controls. But uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Charge the arc device. Link all barricade gates. Scan barricade map in the operations tower. Uh, that said, it's optional. Do we need to do that? I mean, obviously we don't if it's optional, but... Is there an advantage to doing that? This probably doesn't start until we go to the green light, because, you know, green lights start races. In case nobody knew that, let's just run up here and see what's going on. That's already activated. Oh, scan. Okay. Anomaly barricade map. Perfect. I'm uploading the barricade map to your arc device. By my calculations, if you electrify all eight posts, you'll have all the power you need. I like to have all the power okay, I need. Does that seem right? Does it seem right to you? I, I, I think so. Yeah, I, I ran the numbers a few times and I... Then get to it, driver. Okay. Francis and, and uh, Oppie, we're taking our life in your hands. Like, when have we not done that, right? We'll take that right now. Nothing. Okay, guys, this is it. The race is on. We uh, Let's completely top off on our fuel. Wow, I can't even get to the, like the little fuel tank. Not that I need to, but what if I did need to, you know? The hell, man. These fuel synthesizers are just awesome. Okay, let's do this. We basically just got to go around and hit all those gates. What could possibly go wrong? Here we go.
I love it when the, that thingy does that. Shoots forward and opens the barricade. I have no idea what's going to happen when we're done with this race. Probably something crazy. Is this actually timed or does it just go at our, our pace? It should be timed. But I don't think the, the other one we did like this was timed either, but I didn't know that, so I was going balls out. Looking good, driver. Okay. I wonder if these guys will ever ask me what my name actually is or if they're just going to call me driver forevermore. Get to it! Get to it! You're making good time. Keep it up. I still don't disagree with the fact that we can only go about 80 miles an hour with this engine. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, man. Wow! That's a sharp corner. Maybe they do that because idiots like me don't pay attention to when sharp corners come up like that. Could be. A few more to go. This is where we were with the charge station. That's that damn guardrail I ran into. About, what, 10 minutes ago? <laughs> yeah, this, this should be timed. I mean, don't make it like impossibly hard to do, but give us a little bit more of a challenge. getting close by now, eh? gigajoules and holding steady. Good. Then we're all set. The arc device is ready to go. It'll hold that charge for as long as we need it. Am I... Am I supposed to drive into that? Pedal to the metal driver. Storm's coming. Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? I'm corn-fused. Alright, I guess we go out the storm. Oh lord. <laughs> Hopefully we can go over this hill here without getting really bad. Yes, that's also awful steep. Okay. Pedal to the metal. Okay. The anomaly barricade. What's going to happen next? Nice work out there. 
The whale could be a lot. Take your time and gear up. No telling what that remnant's going to unleash. Okay. The end of the road. I kind of figured we're we're getting really close to the end of the road. Um all right, so that was fun. But hey driver, I sent you something if you don't mind taking a look. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. In here? Oppie, oh uh, wait, what is it? In mem Tobias his favorite cryptid of them all. Oh. If it's not too much to ask, uh, if you could put it on your dashboard. Sure, we'll so put it on Tobias your dashboard. can come along for the ride. For In the wherever you're going. In uh, memoriam. Don't feel obligated by any means. Nah, we'll do that, except for I need to remember how to work this fucking thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at that. <coughs> Damn it, that makes me kind of sad. Hey, while we're in here, um, what else do we have? Looks like that's it for the dash. Uh, we have... That's all we ever found for the mirror. That's... Wait, no, that's not true. We have... Hold on. I'm gonna say, yeah, we found this. Yeah, we found that. Okay, so what is that? It's a slice of pep. Yeah, baby. Of course we're gonna do a slice of pep. All right. We have, I like my rally steering wheel. We're gonna keep that. We have a potato cup shifter. We'll look at it, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. Don't think we have anything new there. Uh, we have a getting salty antenna thingy. And I th think that might be new. Oh, no, it says it's installed. Okay. All right, what does this shifter look like? Nah. The shock absorber shifter is way cooler than that. Let's look at our... <laughs> That's funny. Look at that. Tobias. Uh, poor Tobias. Maybe we'll find him in the well. Maybe he's still alive. Okay, anyway, let's go back to here and put my favorite back on. Because that thing is just badass. Okay. All right, here's what I was going to say. That was fun, but two things. First of all, this engine should be more powerful than it is. It should be louder and more boom, boom, you know, than it is. But... You know, you put a th over 300 horsepower engine in a car like this, it should go more than 80 miles an hour. I'm just saying. <laughs> Secondly, that race and the other race that we did earlier, a few episodes ago, those should be timed. And if we don't, if we don't make the time, we should have to do them over again. Not necessarily fail the mission and have to completely start over, but have some mechanism in the game to where. Um, we can start it over and and have to beat a time and you know again the time doesn't have to be insanely difficult you know like uh what was it the a license on gran turismo some 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 of those were really damn hard to do but you know g give it a little more challenge uh and you know that, that that's just my my input and i'm I, i'm not knocking this game guys i have just thoroughly enjoyed this game um it's an awesome awesome game but you know just some ways that i think they could improve things Okay, well, anyway, that is it for this episode. Um, I think because we're probably about right towards the tail end of things, I'm just going to get the car fixed up, put stuff away. Um, maybe make that anti-grab thingamadoodle. Let's grab all of this stuff in particular. And um, put it in here. So I think we, I think we learned it. We just couldn't make it because we were short something. Uh, here. Anti grab emitter. Yeah, we just needed limb chips. Uh, we just need two limb chips. Okay, 
And we're going to replace... I don't have that other setting. That with this. Because I, I want to keep that fuel tank up there. There it is. Oh, it's got one of the little bubble things in it. That's hilarious. All right. This will hang on to. So other than that, yeah, I'm just going to get stuff put away, make sure the car is in good repair. There's a couple things like this limb pulse emitter I need to replace. And then when we start the next episode, we will go out and see what the ending of this game is all about. Do I have room for you in here? Good lord, that thing's big. Um, well, let's take that. There, we'll put that in there. Uh, so I think that's it. Was I going to say something else? Probably. But I don't know what it was. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.